Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching, listening to this podcast. Welcome to Your Onion Podcast. This is episode two. Here we peel, peel away the layers of businesses in the Middle East and give you the opportunity to, to learn about the faces behind the organizations and companies in the region. The sponsorship for today is uh, this week's episode is sponsored by The Breed Group, a turnkey fit-out company which will provide solutions to all your office needs from furniture to design. Listen to episode one of this season to learn more about the company. So, we have a special guest today and it is uh, Dr. Stuart James Hamilton, who is the Deputy Executive Director of International Relations and Communications for Qatar National Library. Welcome, Stuart. Welcome to me. Thank you very much. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that was a very grand title. Um, and yeah, Doctor as well. Indeed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. So, Stuart, can you give us uh, a brief introduction to uh, who you are? You know, who is Stuart? And uh, just give us a kind of a, a quick introduction um, and how you actually ended up here in Qatar. Okay. Well, uh, I'm an Englishman in Qatar. Um, I've been here in Doha for just over 14, 15 months. Yeah. Um, I'm a professional librarian. I've been working in libraries for about 20 years. Um, I've worked in the UK. I've worked in Denmark, the Netherlands. Uh, and I decided to come out of here to work because the new national library was about to open. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was recruited by the executive director to come and help get the opening over the line. So uh, in the last 18 months, we've, we've opened the building and held a big grand opening ceremony. Uh, and uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed sort of every minute of it, all the challenges that come with doing such a thing in Doha, but all of the, uh, the payoff. Yeah. Um, in terms of myself, yeah, um, as I say, from England, but I haven't lived there since 2001. Um, so I, since 2001, that's been your journey to other countries? Yeah, basically, I uh, left the UK to do a PhD in Denmark, lived in Copenhagen. Yeah, why did you do that? Because that's what I noticed with your uh, LinkedIn page. Um, so, what draw you to? I specialize, my specialist area is things like internet censorship and human rights. Um, so, I have a, a sort of a strong research focus on, on things that stop us from accessing the information mm-hmm. that we want to. And I focused uh, for my master's thesis on um, whether or not the US government was funding. Um, dissident libraries in Cuba okay. Uh, and I went to Cuba to investigate this and when I was there I ran into a group of uh, international librarians who were investigating the same thing they took me under their wing and invited me to apply for a PhD scholarship in Copenhagen which I then went on to get so that was the beginning of my international journey so I've and what was your uh, how did your investigation End up. Well, considering I don't speak a word of Spanish, it was uh, <laughs> actually quite a success to run into a bunch of people that did. Um, yeah. yeah, it was a very interesting, uh, and for a time in the library community, a very controversial issue uh, about whether uh, these libraries were in fact being being funded to sort of share free market information and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah undoubtedly there was uh, funding by the US government of these sorts of uh, places, but at the same time there was uh, all sorts of interesting issues in the libraries that were funded by the Cuban government. So there was plenty to uh, get my teeth into. <laughs> um, 